Paul is originally from South Africa. He's been all over the world. He's the number two ICU doctor, most published, number two in the world. And he is here to tell you the truth about his reaction to what he just heard up here. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Paul Merrick. Thank you. Thank you, Christina. My heart is so broken, I can't keep quiet anymore. We know these fucking vaccines cause at least 2 to 3% of people who get them will have adverse events like you just heard. They're not making this up. 2 to 3%. Now you figure out how many people have been vaccinated in this country and across the world. There are millions of people who are suffering. They're being ignored, they're not getting treatment, and they're suffering. We know exactly what their diagnosis is. I know exactly what it is. I know what it's caused by, and I know how to treat it, and they will not let us treat these people. The NIH knows about these people. They know what causes it, and they will not treat these people. And that has to change. There's no disease in medicine that you can't treat. It's never too late. It's never too late. Yes. These people... These vaccine-injured people are suffering, and we need to do something for them. This is a humanitarian crisis. Sorry, I just had to say that because it's a travesty. These, we have treatments for these people. It's not perfect, but we need to come out of the closet and offer them treatments. We need to work together and figure out what works and what doesn't work. It's a crime against humanity. Okay, thank you. I've said my bit.